This is the Arbusers.com annual review of the smart betting scene for the year 2018. It is conducted in goodwill with the hope it will contribute to the understanding of this particular field. We'll try to post a similar review each year so we have a time lapse of the smart betting scene. We advise that you take a look at the review of the previous years in our forum or YouTube channel. Now let's examine the main forms of smart betting and see how they performed during the year. Pre-game arbitrage is no longer able to maintain decent levels of profit. Live arbitrage is resilient and will continue offering profits to the players. However, the psychological burden of live arbitrage is heavier than in any other form of smart betting. Value betting is now dominant and pays back properly according to invested time and effort. There are two distinct types of value betting, manual and automated with the use of bots. We invested a lot of time, money and efforts to analyse the performance of these two types of value betting. We can now say that value betting with bots is more productive and less stressful compared to any other way. In the review of 2017, we alarmed all players that lavish contracts have been awarded to software providers in order to tackle the use of bots and their results were just about to materialise. Unfortunately, we were very much correct and a well-known bookmaker managed to neutralise the use of bots. As a result, many players were exposed to risks and some of them finished their betting careers abruptly and took their losses. We strongly advise players to calculate their risks before taking any initiative. Bots are not risk-free and raids from bookmakers will happen again. We also advise that you read the forum for more information about the use of bots. The scenery of the value betting field was completed with the launch of Rebel Bettings and Betburgers value betting tools that are considered to be a good entry. We are in position to say that more tools are on their way and they'll be available to the wider audience during 2019. Here in arbusers.com, we continue experimenting with products and techniques, risking our own hard-earned capital and we inform our members when a good project is ready. Those who are receiving our newsletters are the first to know. In the exchanges scene, during 2018, Matchbook imposed premium charges while 21Bet caused turbulence as their exchange product was shut for almost two weeks and balances of their clients were frozen for months. Our forum went to extremes to secure that all referred by Arbusers clients would get their funds back in total and thankfully we managed to achieve this. E-wallets became even more expensive and that was noticed by our fees-sensitive community. E-wallets believe that bookmakers are the clients and players are the products and not the other way around. As a result, cryptocurrencies, banks and hawala systems are taking the lion's share. Cash market, that was considered finished since the 90s, is now gaining momentum. This leads to a vicious spiral, forcing e-wallets to raise their fees in order to keep their profits while clients are moving away. The remaining clients will have to pay a premium for continuing using e-wallets. We lobby hard to stop this spiral. A side effect is that several bookmakers, including Pinnacle, are now accepting Bitcoin payments. Pinnacle withdrew from Australia and several agents stopped offering PinBet accounts to UK residents. The UK announced that gambling tax for operators will be 21%, while it remains to be seen to what extent bookmakers could absorb this burden or roll it over to players and affiliates. Many countries followed this paradigm and imposed higher taxes on gambling, proving that Soviet-style taxation is still alive in Europe. Unfair regulations, taxation and higher fees are pushing players to grey areas. On the other hand, the US Supreme Court under Trump's Liberal presidency decided to legalise sports betting. A large part of our reviews are dedicated in the low business ethics of several actors of the industry. We still consider that a proportion of profits should be set aside for legal fees, as several bookmakers attempted to confiscate well-deserved winnings, especially when these winnings are at a level that wouldn't justify the use of a solicitor. 
Five Dimes manager Tony has been found dead in Costa Rica after an apparent kidnapping for ransoms. 2018 was another difficult year added in the chain, but also it was the year that highlighted value betting as the next big thing in the smart betting scene. Maybe there is still time and money to be made. For more information, please visit our forum, rbusers.com, our Facebook and Twitter profiles, and our YouTube channel.